good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the second episode of season two uh, with Grimsby Town on this road to glory career mode with myself, Tibbin27. Of course, we started off uh, the second season uh, with the European International Cup tournament. Uh, we've managed to reach the final, which is going to be our first game for today. Um, and then we've got a little bit of a gap, a couple of weeks um, to sort out some more transfers maybe. Obviously you need to get a goalkeeper in as backup for Ted Smith. Uh, and then we kick off the first game in League One, a trip to Gillingham. We then have a game against Peterborough in the EFL Cup. Uh, and then we face Peterborough again at home for our first game at Lundell Park in League One. And uh, our first game is up against La Lavoie, La 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 La. I don't know how you say it, against this French side. The team for it is going to look like this. It's going to be Ted Smith in goal, Amari Bell, Dan Jones, Adam Thompson and Ben Davis uh, making up the back line. Uh, Stefano Bruno, James Berrett, uh, Sean McAllister, Jason Banton are the midfield with Dominic Polian partnering Omar Bogle. Uh, we haven't faced them yet. It's going to be a, a good game, I hope, a good final and the chance for us to get our first bit of silverware this season. Can we do it? Let's find out. So here we are. It is the final of the European International Cup. And we are at, again, the Parc de Prince. We are at PSG's stadium for it. And Grimsby Town will face up against French side Stade Lavoir to win that trophy there. Jean Daniel Lecon is the referee for this one. Hopefully he's not going to favour the French side. And it will be them to kick off this European International Cup final. Dominic Polion kin to Banton who can use that pace to cause some problems and Dominic Polion is there and sweeps it home after five minutes Dominic Polion brilliant attack from the boys counter-attacking at its best Leicester City eat your heart out it's Grimsby down showing them how to do it great stuff from Banton his pace just too much and the ball in was perfect for Polion to sweep home after just five minutes. Yeah, keeper could have probably done better. It's gone under him. But a really good counter-attack. Fast. That's what we want. That is why I've brought in Banton and Polion on pre-contracts. On, um, on pre uh, it's Starnik second off the tournament. And it has given Grimsby a very nice early lead in this final. Used to be wary of runners in behind. McAllister. Not quite. Ben Davis doesn't get there. It's fizzed in. Big save from... Ted Smith back in, another big save from Ted Smith, and they've missed it again. Wow, Dembele had about three chances there to equalise for Stade Lavoie, and Ted Smith, just terrific saves, he shanked it wide in the end. Ted Smith, he's really showing us at times in this pre-season tournament why he is number one. Great stuff. Again, he'll stretch clear of his man. Oh no, the defender's got back well. Jason will have to hold it up here. Jason, that's a good tackle from the defender. Very good defending from that man. But back in from Banton. Banton to bang one. Good save from the keeper. Can we get there on the rebound? No, Lavar will clear this one. Bruno now, though. Can he stretch clear of his man? No, he'll get fouled instead. And a yellow card for the uh, left back. Quintin. Erwang Quintin. Quentin! Bad Quentin! <laughs> oh, good tackle there though. Uh, I think by Jason Banton. No, it wasn't his Banton. It's B Amari Bell. He's hit the bar and it's back in as a goal! And it's finished by Dominic Polion again, I think it is. Is it? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Dominic Polion. Yes, it is. Polion is there to smash in the rebound. Amari Bell's shot was an absolute fizzer. It's smacked against the bar, but Polion turns it home. It was some really nice football from the boys. Amari Bell deserved the goal, but it fell very kindly for Polion running in, and he finishes it nicely. No chance for the keeper. And Grimsby Town now lead 2-0 in this final. McAllister over to Barrett. There goes the half-time whistle. A very interesting first half. Both teams have been attacking and going for this um, but it is Grimsby Town 
that lead at the break thanks to Poli but also thanks to Ted Smith a terrific double save a couple of other good moments from him as well at half time Stadler 1 0 Grimsby Town 2 keeping the ball nicely though our uh, Stadler 1 getting on to the edge of the box they found a way through Ted Smith does save that one again uh, and Adam Thompson will see it clear to Ben Davis in McAllister back into Summerfield here's Poli on Chance here, Luke Summerfield storming forward. Can he hold on to it? He has held on to it. Summerfield whisses it past the post. Luke Summerfield just come on and very nearly sealed this trophy for us. Decent effort from the 29 year old. Just wide at the post, not bad at all. Surely we're gonna take it back though, yeah. There's a man down, it's Adam Thompson. That's not good, it doesn't look like a good one. Thompson's going to have to come off here. Collins will come on. I think we'll bring Baker on as well for the last few minutes of Banton, who has played very well. And uh, uh, Brown as well, I think, um, for Polion. That's a shame, though, to see Adam Thompson uh, limping off what happened. Went for the header. It's fairly innocuous challenge, really. He's gone down holding his shoulder. Not good at all. Collins comes on as well as Baker and Brown for these last six minutes. Dan Jones does well again. Here's Luke Summerfield now. Stadler will win it back. Is that going to be it? It is. It's full time in the European International Cup final. And Grimsby Town have yet again won the pre-season tournament. Both goals coming in the first half in this one. Dominic Polion striking twice. In between that though, a brilliant double save from Ted Smith. And uh, Ben Davis, who obviously missed out on lifting the League 2 trophy, will get to do the honours for us here and lift this pre-season tournament. Obviously not the, quite the same as lifting a, a, a League 2 title, but happy enough. The boys are pleased with their, their work in this pre-season tournament. They've done well. And Ben Davis shall lift our first piece of silverware for this season. Hopefully it's going to be the first of many more. We're tight. We're targeting that League One title, we're targeting the Checker Trade Trophy, and we're targeting many more moments like this. Well under Ben Davis and the boys, more than deserving of this pre-season tournament title. They'll go in front of the board, the streamers continue to come down, and it will read that Grimsby Town are European International Cup champions. So after lifting the European International Cup uh, and the glory of that, uh, we have the bad news uh, that uh, Adam Thompson is going to be out for eight weeks. A really killer blow for us. Obviously he was going to be first choice with Dan Jones, but now he's going to miss the first two months of the season, or there or thereabouts anyway. Not good at all. Such an innocuous challenge, and he's now out for eight weeks. Not Stefano Bruno, um, and where is it gone? Um, Giuseppe Russo, both youngsters have accepted their uh, their contracts. I think they contract extensions. I'm I'm sure. Um, yeah, really good news that both of them will be with the club for a while to come. Um, we've got Lyle Taylor back from injury. That's good news. Another option for us, as well as a few scout reports here and a transfer offer for Omar Bogle. Surprise, surprise. This time it's MK Dons. A measly 625,000. I wouldn't sell to them anyway because they are a despicable franchise club. But um, we, we, won't, we won't talk about that. Okay, so more good news for us. James Barrett has accepted his contract. Um, we have another transfer offer for um, Omar Bogle as well. 775,000 from Luton this time. Um, again, we shall reject. We'll keep advancing through. Actually, we should have... Um... Oh, here we go. Grimsby seek to avoid the drop. Wow. They've predicted us to finish rock bottom. I mean... Okay. Interesting. I didn't think they, would, they predict us that low. So it says, Avoiding relegation is a realistic ambition of the Grimsby Town this season, according to most pundits. And the job would be made a lot easier if forwards such as Dominic Polion can play at the level hoped for some fans, or oh, for by some fans. Stefano Bruno, meanwhile, will have to trust his own ability to help him with the scoring as well as create opportunities for others that will help ensure the team avoid the drop. 
Defender Adam Thompson will be equally cruel to Cruel will be equally crucial to the campaign, leading by example and helping to keep his fellow players focused on challenge ahead without constantly looking over their shoulders. Is that a reference to his shoulder injury? That's a bit mean. And uh, Ollie Harford will be looking to prove you can win something with kids and may well make the transition to the first team. Okay, so that's the sort of four main players they're highlighting there. Fair enough. I thought they might highlight Bogle considering he was uh, our player of the season last year and, you know, top assister and stuff. Another transfer offer for Omar Bogle, though. This time from Port Vale. Again, we shall reject that offer. I may well just reject all offers soon because it's, it's just constant offers for him. Um, but we'll, we'll keep going. We're, we're basically just waiting on some scout reports to come back so I can then decide who to put an offer in for in terms of a new uh, keeper. Two offers here. Uh, Orient. Nope. And... Blackpool, no. Uh, another transfer offer, again for Omar Bogle. Uh, 600 from Sheffield United. I mean, they can afford a lot more than that. Should we just do a counter offer? I think just for a laugh. But well, what if he gets accepted? Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna counter offer three million. I mean, there's, there's no way Sheffield United will pay that. Surely, surely. I don't think they will. But they're a club that have much more money than that. And that's just unacceptable, 600,000. So, I'm going to counter off with a, a, an offer of 3 million uh, and just see what they say. And we have another transfer offer. Ah, for Danny Andrew, a player we're looking to sell. Finally, somebody that isn't uh, offering for Omar Bogle. More can want to take him for just 100 grand. Yeah, that's a little bit cheap for me. So, I'm going to counter 120. I know he's 26 and, and not the best, but. If Morecambe can play that, I'm happy to let Danny Andrew go for that price. That'd be perfect. Um, we also have a U Squad monthly report. And Jordan Shaw is a tempting one because he's... Um, except maybe Aidan Collins. He's our real, you know, star in the making, I would say. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to offer Jordan Shaw a contract. To, uh, to come up and join us, uh, 425.5 future testing player. Let's see what he says to that. Hopefully, Jordan Shaw will want to sign up for Grimsby Town. Um, but we'll keep going. Keep going. We're only a few days away now from our first league game of the season. We've got some monthly scouting reports who have also been stopped because there's another transfer offer for, for Omar Bogle. Um, Lyle Taylor telling us he's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll look at these scout reports first. Uh, we'll look at Kelly Arvella's one first. He's in Spain. Danny Barrera, uh, the first man. Okay overall, but potential pretty poor. Um, so we're going to reject Danny Barrera. Um, Franco Gomez is the other way. Um, not a great overall, but decent potential. So we'll keep scouting him for now. And Jose Baquero. Um, so you've got an okay overall and some decent potential, but well, we'll keep scouting him for now as well. Um, oh, that, the Spanish, that Spanish man. <laughs> uh, three players uh, offered to us from France as well. Maxime Richard, or Maxime Richard. Um, yeah, maybe we'll keep scouting him for now. Now oh, there's a that's a good player there. Overall is good, potential is very good. Um, yeah, we're going to sign him straight away. Um, Aurelien, Aurelien Dufons, Dufresne. Aurelien Dufresne. Well, that's what I'm going to go with. Aurelien Dufresne. And um, Christophe Milot. I'll keep scouting him, but I, I'm not sure that. <coughs> not sure he'll make the cut. Uh, and this transfer offer from Omar, or for Omar Bogle, sorry, is from Blackburn. Okay, again, they're a big team. If you give me three million, you can have him. I don't really want him to go, but if I got three million, I'd be over the moon. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. If anyone goes for three million, I'll be shocked. But um, that is what uh, we shall go back to him with. Or through for this first game of the season against Gillingham. 
We won't get there though because we've got two bits back. Okay, Morgan said we've reviewed your asking price of 120,000 for Danny Andrew and decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. Okay, good stuff. Danny Andrew's going to be going to Morecambe. Sheffield United, this is Omar Vogel. If they've accepted this, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Let's see. Could you not? Yeah, okay. That's what I expected them to say. I'm really worried now that I'm doing this and then a team's going to go, yeah, we'll pay three million for him, which would be amazing. But, you know, I also know that he could go for a lot more down the line. So, okay, right, that's fine. Uh, Florian Muller would cost us 775. Yeah, we can't really be paying out that sort of money. So maybe a loan move uh, for Florian Muller, the keeper. And good news, Jordan Shaw has accepted his contract just ahead of this opening game against Gillingham. 